Welcome to this DT Guru Revision video. Today we're going to be looking at the DT product design paper, paper one, the one hour 15 minute paper, where you'll be asked to design a product in one hour and 15 minutes. Now this year the exam will be on, well the paper 12 will be on the 25th of May 2018, um, so this is in preparation for that particular exam. So the first thing you'll get when you enter the exam, you'll get an A3 answer booklet and an A4 question booklet. Okay, please make sure you read all the instructions carefully on the front of the, uh, of the booklet. All written answers must be done on the A3 sheets. Anything you write in this booklet will not be marked, so please bear that in mind. Now the first thing you have to remember about this exam, and it's written on the front, is you answer one question only. Now when you open the booklet, something will become apparent. Number one, generally the first question in the booklet relates to resistant materials design and technology. So if you're a resistant materials student, this should be the first question. Always good to check because sometimes it can change. But the way to tell is normally looking at the words that stick out. So the unit here, for example, design a unit that can be used, by, uh, used at a convenient height when a person is filling plant pots with compost soil. So you're talking about some kind of step ladder, some kind of uh, you know height adjustment device, but it's going to be a unit. It's going to be made out of things like metal, wood, plastics, etc. This is not the graphics question that we're looking at today. The second question tends to be the graphics question, so you'll be asked to design something out of lightweight materials. You may find this is packaging based. It could be model based. It could be a game. It could be anything really, which is a graphic product. So prepare yourselves for that. But question two has always been, in, in previous examples, the graphics question. So it's important that you check. Question two is on page three. Do not confuse the question, uh, the question number with the page number. This is going to be the question you're looking for if you're a graphic student. So we can see here the word that stands out, a 3D flat pack model of a greenhouse. Um, receive the model in an envelope in flat pack form. So if it's going to be sent by post, it should be made out of lightweight material. So just, just bear that in mind. And question three is normally for the systems and control students. So normally it's going to involve designing a device that's going to have some kind of electrical input and outputs. And uh, design a device which automatically close uh, a greenhouse door when the temperature falls. So we're looking at some kind of um, you know, temperature input device, perhaps um, you know, some kind of controller involved. Again, this is not for you graphic students. We're looking here at question two. So. The first thing you'll do is read through the question carefully, okay? In my experience, and I've, I've taken at least six groups through this GCSE, the biggest problem is students don't read the question carefully and they miss the point of the question. So, a company wishes to promote a range of greenhouses, okay? It's all about promoting here, okay? Graphic products tend to have this promotional theme and that's very important to, to take into account. Greenhouse, okay, when you hear that word greenhouse here, suddenly you should be thinking about materials. What material do you use for the transparent parts of the greenhouse? What material could you use for the solid parts of a greenhouse? How would it be constructed, for example? Potential customers will receive the model in an envelope in flat pack form. Now, another word that stands out, stands out here is envelope, okay? Most envelopes, size-wise, are either gonna be A4 size, or you may even get an A3 envelope, but realistically, we're not going to be any bigger than that, okay? A model, okay, this doesn't have to be to scale. We have to remember that as well. You know, they're promoting a range of greenhouses. They're not really asking you here to make a greenhouse. They're asking you to create a model that is going to help to promote the real greenhouses that this company sells. So taking that minute to really understand the question is very important. I know this question and this paper is very kind of uh, very much about time management, but understanding the question, if you don't take that time to understand the question, you're gonna lose a lot of marks in the exam, that's very important. So, what we've got here, a question, okay? We're gonna create a model greenhouse, which is 3D, can be constructed and put on somebody's desk. It's not really designed to work as a greenhouse, but it's designed to promote a range of greenhouses. So, you know, realistically, A4 or A3 could work. The fact that it's flat pack means it has to be able to be flattened, and reconstructed, whether that's through the use of things like self-locking tabs or other methods, that's really down to you to the side. So, we've got a 
now got a general gist of what the question is asking. Please obviously bear in mind that this is a 3D product they're looking for. If you don't take that into consideration, again, you're gonna lose marks. Now, question A is very important. I think you, the most important thing you have to consider when you do question A is not to repeat the points they've already given you. Four additional points. Now they've made four bold, but in fact, additional should be the bold word here because that is the most important thing about the function of such a 3D model that you consider to be important. So in this particular instance, we've really got to think about what is going to be important about this model that this particular question is asking. So you, we can go down many routes here. Okay, I think the first thing we need to really consider is the fact that if it's going to be a flat back model, it must be easy to construct. Okay, No one's going to receive this model in an envelope and put it together if it's too complicated. So the first thing I would say, the model must be easy to construct. That's the first point. Okay, now the second point, um, we're looking for another function here. Okay, now realistically, I think another function here is it must have a space on the greenhouse to promote the company details. So I'm going to put that as a second point. Okay, must include a space to um, add company info. Obviously, this is a promotional 3D model. Therefore, the company's website, their phone number, maybe some, even some information about the greenhouses that they sell, I think that's going to be very important. Thirdly, okay, I think you know, we've got to think about the fact that it must be made out of sturdy materials. Okay? Obviously, something which is three-dimensional, we don't want it to be made out of lightweight paper, for example. It must be made out of sturdy materials. So, must be made from sturdy materials. Lastly, okay, function. This is, this is where things get difficult. And normally the first three points are very easy. The last one is, is quite tricky. We could go down the route of thinking about recyclable materials. So it must be made from recyclable materials. We could go down the route of it including instructions on how to construct it, for example. You know, that might make the, the person who's constructing it a lot, it might make their life a lot easier. Um, the A4, A3, you know, perhaps we can talk about, you know, it must be compact in size because actually if it's going to be sent through the post, I think that's, that, that's, that's key. So actually we're going to add that one here. So it must be compact in size. Perfect, okay? So these four points, it's very important to think about them, but please don't repeat anything, okay? You could not put here, must fit in a flat, uh, must be must be designed in flat pack form, for example. That's not gonna work. Must be 3D, we can't do that. Must represent a greenhouse, no. Must promote the greenhouse, okay? Not necessarily. Here we've added something that links to that but is not specifically the same. So it's very important that you think about this carefully.